the timeliness and how quickly Kickstarter was able to get us set up, get us approved, and then get us funding. That was that was the biggest draw easily. <laughs> So today we have Chris, CFO of CrossNet with us. They just got funded on Kick Further. Hi, Chris. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your product? Yeah, absolutely. So, so CrossNet is four square beats volleyball. Uh, it's, it's an outdoor game. Like we played on the beach in lawns. It was founded by uh, Chris, Greg, and Mike, who are co-founders, two brothers and a childhood friend back in late 2017. And they really just wanted to reinvent the game of Foursquare. And they thought the best way to do that was through uh, integrating it with volleyball. So it's been a ton of fun. We've uh, sold hundreds of thousands of units over the past four or five years, and we're excited to keep growing. That's awesome. So, so far in the business, what would you say has been your biggest growth obstacle? It's it's a great question. Um, finding Finding an adequate capital structure where the owners don't have to dilute themselves down to zero is... What has probably been has, has probably been our biggest growth challenge. Um, we, you know, we have a ton of great ideas, a lot of folks we want to hire, a lot of a lot of new products we want to bring to market, a lot of inventory we want to produce. But in order to do that, you need money, you need capital, and you really only have two options: you can either raise capital through equity markets or you can raise it uh, through debt. Yeah. And when you, when we when we started approaching, uh, you know, potentially bringing on a strategic investor or something like that. You know, the, the valuations were kind of wonky and the owners really didn't want to dilute themselves down to a point where they didn't, you know, have to maintain a, ma a majority stake in their company that they built. Uh, and you know, they really just weren't comfortable with it. So um, finding the right capital structure, finding the right uh, debt that the company could take on at a reasonable rate has, has been our challenge. And, and it's it's something that we continue to, to work on today to find debt that can help fuel the growth of cross that the things we want to do, the new yeah. markets we want to launch into the new products mm -hmm. um, without paying insane interest rates, uh, you know, through through uh, bad debt products that are definitely out there on the market. I won't name any names, but there are bad debt <laughs> products on the market. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of funding, you guys just funded $534,000 on kick further. What do you plan to do with the funding? It's it's all for inventory purchasing actually, which is which is fantastic. Um, you know, we as I mentioned, we're not we're not backed by any private equity institution or venture capitalists or anything like that. Uh, just this past uh, quarter, we signed a new agreement with Sam's Club, mm -hmm. and they wanted to order millions of dollars of products. And a company like Crossnet, we don't have millions of dollars uh, in the mm -hmm. bank account, and we need to put deposits uh, down with our suppliers. Uh, to, to produce that inventory, um, and the deposits were, you know, in the six figures. So we didn't have we didn't have the cash on hand uh, to do that. So we needed to raise money um, to to put the deposits on with our factories to produce an order that's as good as gold. It's Sam's Club, it's Walmart. Um, they ordered, you know, over twenty five thousand units, mm -hmm. and in order to fulfill that, we needed capital. So uh, that you know, it's purely the, the five hundred thirty four thousand that we've raised is purely going to inventory, um, down payments, deposits to get. Uh, the, the product made for the Samsung purchase order. That's awesome. And why did you choose Kick Further for inventory funding? Yeah, I mean, there's a number of of, uh, of different reasons. I'd say the the primary two. Uh, the first one, honestly, was just was timing. Um, we were looking at a lot of more traditional PO financers um, or more traditional lending solutions. And a lot of those solutions were, you know, saying this is going to take over, well over a month to do the deal, to do the due diligence, to get you guys uh, the funding that you need. Um, you know, sometimes it was close to eight weeks. You know, six to eight weeks was the typical timeline that we were given. We didn't have that time. If we didn't, if we weren't uh, putting the deposit down uh, with our supplier within a couple of weeks, uh, we were going to lose the deal. You know, because we wouldn't have been able to produce the inventory. So Kick Further was able to get us set up quickly. I mean, we were, we were on the kick further platform in less than a week mm -hmm. and then we were funded in less than a week. Yeah. So, you know, uh, going from a six to eight week timeline down to a less than two time, two week timeline was, was a huge draw for us. And we were meeting with multiple different folks and we were meeting with our account executive at kick further. That was something that they stress is we, we do this time and time again, and we do it quickly. So that was the biggest reason we chose kick further. And then, uh, the second biggest reason was, uh, the competitive rate. I mean, it's, you know the, the rate that we were able to get on the on the debt that we were raising was competitive with the market. You know, if you go to some of these other uh, lenders, 
you know, there, there, there were, there were lenders that were quoting us double what Kickstarter was quoting, was, was quoting us. So um, the competitive rate was, was definitely, uh, you know, a, a big deciding factor for us as well, but the timeliness and how quickly Kickstarter was able to get us set up, get us approved and then get us funding. That was, that was the biggest draw easily. That's so great to hear. So finally, where can we find CrossNet? CrossNetGame.com. Uh, CrossNetGame.com. We're on Amazon. We're in stores at Dick's Sporting Goods. We'll be in stores at Sam's Club this summer. Uh, Shields, Academy Sports, really any sporting goods retailer. You can find us in stores in the U.S. and Canada. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure to be here.